Hi boys and girls, we're gonna do a fun art project today. I've been trying to do art projects that involve stuff that you probably already have in your home. Did you know that you can do art with pasta? We're gonna do it today. All right, boys and girls, let's get started. So here are the things that you're gonna need. You are gonna need some paper. It doesn't matter what color piece of paper you use. Um, you can use yellow or you can use whatever color you want, white, plain paper, lined paper, whatever paper you want to use. And then you're going to use some bow tie pasta. Now today we're using bow tie pasta, but I'm also going to do another video with a different kind of pasta just in case um, you don't have bow tie pasta at home. But this is what we're going to be using for this particular art piece. You need some Elmer's glue because we're gonna have to glue our pasta onto our paper. And then you're gonna need some washable markers. That's what I'm gonna be using to color my pasta, but um, if you have paint, you can use paint. Whatever you have that's washable probably would be the best. All right, let's get started. We're gonna get started by just coloring these. These um, are going to be flowers. So we're gonna turn them like this to be flowers, or like this. And then they're also going to be butterflies today. And I just love doing anything that's colorful and fun um, when it's spring out. So we're gonna take some time and we're gonna color our flowers and our butterflies. Now, um, if you're making a flower, you're gonna want the bottom half of your flower to be green. So we'll color this bottom half of our flower green. And it's kind of hard with these markers to get into the little cracks and crevices, but we will do our best. And we'll color this bottom half and we'll pretend that this bottom half is our leaves on our plant. So we'll just color this in green down here. And you can color yours however you want, but this is just how I'm going to do it. All right, so there we go. We get that part right there. See how that stays white? So we're gonna color that a little bit too. If you want, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. Sometimes I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I like to color in everything so it looks just so. All right, and then we are going to color in the top part of our flower. And we're gonna make this one pink. So we'll just color this pasta and get it nice and pink. I like pink flowers. Actually, I like any colored flower. So we'll color as much of the pasta as we can because we don't want the pasta color to show up on the our picture. And if you have a little variation in your color, like it's darker in one spot and lighter in the other, then that just makes it look more like a real flower, I think. And we'll get those edges colored so they're nice and pink. And if you want to do yours with more than one color, you can do that too. I think maybe I will add a little bit of purple on this flower, just a little bit, just to make it kind of fun. Okay, just a little bit. There we go. All right, so now we've got our pink and purple flower and I cut colored some other ones. I've got a yellow and an orange flower and I've got a purple and red flower and I've got another pink and purple flower. So we've got our flowers done now. So now we just need to color some butterflies. All right, so now that we've got our flowers we are going to color some butterflies. Now you can make your butterflies any color that you want, but they're going to sit this way on your page. 
And so I'm gonna just try to make this one blue. I like the color blue, and I've seen a blue butterfly before. So we'll just color this pasta in. But you can do your butterflies any color that you want. There is no right or wrong color to choose for your butterfly. We gotta get this pasta colored in as just as good as we can. Some of these little spots are hard to get to with our marker. If you have a thinner marker that you can get into those little cracks and crevices, that's that would be great too. And we'll turn that and color that in a little bit more over here. Like I said, some of the variation makes it look kind of nice. So if you don't get it colored in perfectly, that's okay. So we'll go ahead and color that in. I like blue. All right, I think that's probably as good as we can get. All right, there we go. All right, that's a little dark blue butterfly with a little bit of yellow in the center because we can't get to it, but that makes it look kind of cool. And I just went ahead and I colored a couple other butterflies. So I've got a red and purple butterfly and I've got a yellow and orange butterfly. And I've got a yellow and purple butterfly. All right, boys and girls. So after you've colored all of your flowers and all of your butterflies, you are gonna draw the stems for your flowers. Now I have four flowers that I want to draw stems for. And you can turn your paper however you want. You can turn it um, this way or this way. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna do mine this way. All right, and I'm going to draw my stems for my flowers. Use some green for that. Make them different heights. And you can make them straight or curved or whatever you want to do. Mine are curved a little bit because I think that makes it a little fun. All right, so then once you've got your stems on there, then you can get out your glue. And we'll put a little dollop of glue near each of our stems so that we can glue on our flowers. And of course, it would help if my glue came out. There we go. Something like that. It's about the size of a pea. Maybe a fat pea. All right, we'll put our flowers on there. That looks like a flower to me. And the nice thing about Elmer's glue is it dries clear, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, put that one there, and then we'll put that this one here. And you want to make sure the green part is pointing down. And then we've got this one over here. All right, and we will let that dry. All right, and then we can decide where do we want to put our butterflies. And we can just set them on there and arrange them however we want. Butterflies like flowers. That's why we're doing flowers with our butterflies. All 
right, I think that looks pretty good. So we'll lift up the spots where we've got the flowers and or got the butterflies. And we'll put our little dollop of glue there. We'll put our butterfly on our paper where our glue was. All right, there's that one. And then we've got this one up here. I think all of these butterflies are friends. They're hanging out together. All right. So when that's done drying, we'll add our finishing touches. All right, boys and girls. So our picture is not quite dry yet, but I wanted to draw our antennas on our um, butterflies. Couldn't get that out. So we're just going to draw with a black marker little antennas coming out from the center of each of our butterflies. Just as something cute to put on them, just like that. So two little lines. With a little ball on the end. And then We'll do that on each of our butterflies. So when butterflies fly, they flutter around. And so with our black marker, we're gonna demonstrate where our butterflies have been. And this one, has been fluttering around in a circle. So we're just gonna make a little bit of a dotted line. There we go, and that one came from all the way over here. And curved around like this, and then flew this way, just like that. And this one came all the way from over here. over here talking to his friend and then curved around this way and then this one did a couple loop-de-loos Here. You just want to keep making that dotted line. And maybe this one just came from this flower, so we'll make his dotted line end right there. And then we'll put the rest of our antennas on our little butterflies, and then we'll be done. All right, boys and girls, don't you just love how simple that was and how easy that was to make? And there is our finished product. I'd love to see pictures of the butterflies and the flowers that you make with your bow tie pasta. Send me pictures. I'll talk to you soon. Miss you guys. Bye.